Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing my very first update for my Petty Project Pan. If you missed the intro to this new project pan that I created, I'll have that video up in the cards. I started this project back on July 1st, and since then I have completely used up one product, and I am almost done with another product, and then I've got updates for the other three. So, if you want to see the products that I originally picked and why I picked them, make sure you check out that intro video because the videos and updates that I do from here on out are just going to be updates on my panning progress. Let's start with the product that I've actually finished. So product number one is this e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer, and I have completely used it up. I'm actually pretty shocked but also not shocked that I finished this. Once I started using it like every day it went quickly and I already had like almost pan in the middle of it so it really was just a matter of using it every day until like the entire thing was done and I think that really only took me a couple of weeks. I've had this empty this container in my drawer for a while so it's been a while since I actually finished it. Um, again my thoughts haven't really changed. I still like the other putty primers in my collection better. And actually, since getting this, I picked up the new putty primer from e.l.f., the Acne Fighting Putty Primer. So I'm glad that I finished this and I can move it out of my collection so I can actually work on some of my other putty primers. Because I've got a- I like putty primers and I've got a lot of putty primers. So that is considered done for this project. Next, I have the product that I'm actually almost done with, and I this this surprised me because I didn't think I would actually pan this that quickly. This is my mini highlight from Kevin Aquan, and that's all that I have left. That's it. So again, I started using this every day, like the Luminous Putty Primer, and I realized that the actual, the shape and size of this pan for the mini is literally like the exact size of my highlighting brush. So I was really going in there and using it to highlight my cheekbones, Cupid's bow, Cupid's bow, Cupid's bow, and the tip of my nose every day. And once I started doing that, I think I hit pan in like less than a week, because I, I was already pretty close to pan on this. So I hit pan pretty quickly, and then really was just a matter of using it around the pan. So I'm actually surprised it got through this so quickly. Um, this will definitely be done by the time I do the next update. And I'm happy. I'm, like, I'm glad that like a product that I, that's been sitting around for so long, I can actually like focus on and finish so quickly. So I'm really happy with that progress. All right, next, let's talk about the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow that I chose. This is how it looks zoomed in. So what I did is I originally, because I had it like all up against the edges, I repressed it once. And that actually worked really well for me. And I repressed it and then I used it enough to where I, that happened again and all the product went to the edges. So I repressed it for a second time. And all I did is use a little bit of face oil to kind of rehydrate it and repress it. Unfortunately, I don't think you can repress these more than once because I repressed this for the second time and now it's like actually kind of hard and crusty and it's not the best. Part of me just wanted to like call it because it's really hard and kind of hard to use now, but the other part of me, like this is petty, I wanna petty pan this. So I think I'm gonna scrape this up and use it now kind of like a loose shadow as opposed to like the super shock shadow that it was. Or I might just crush it up and make it a loose shadow. Either one, I'm gonna do one of those and I'm gonna finish this. <laughs> And I'm hoping it'll be finished by the next update. So there you go. If you're ever wondering how many times you can repress a Super Shock Shadow, first, probably just don't repress it. Just try to like move it to the center of the pan. Um, but second, you can only repress it once. Don't try repressing it twice. <laughs> don't be me. Next, we have the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. This is the progress I've made so far. Really, I've been using the bronzer really it's a contour shade on me every day and then I've been using the highlighter now I can actually use it a lot more that I'm almost done with the other highlighter but I've also been using this just slightly on top of the Kevin Aquan one but I have to admit since I had the Kevin Aquan one I wasn't using this highlighter as much so far really all I've done is uh kind of wear away like the imprint on both sides but you can still see the lines kind of out here I'm really focusing kind of like in the middle of the pan uh, but yeah, I mean not too too much to see here. Hopefully we'll actually start to see like a dip in the next month So like I said, I'm already using the bronzer contour bronzer whatever daily And now that I'm going to only have one highlight for the project I will go to use this highlight daily and hopefully we'll see some movement on that last and kind of least um, I've got the lipstick that I'm trying to pan. This is the Urban Decay lipstick in fuel now I have actually surprisingly worn this a few times as a traditional lipstick. I think the bullet looks a little bit smaller. I didn't actually like start measuring this, so maybe I'll throw a picture up of this against some paper and I'll actually start keeping measurements for the lipstick. But since I've never really panned a bullet lipstick that wasn't a mini, 
uh, it's, this is new to me. <laughs> um, but I've used, used this as a regular lipstick, sometimes with filming, sometimes when we're going out. I'm actually wearing it today more as like a, like a tint. Like I just put a little bit on and then I kind of blended it out with my finger so it wouldn't be like as stark. And I definitely like it applied that way a bit better. I also yesterday applied this, I used it as a blush. Um, I wasn't wearing like a full foundation face. I really just wanted to go in with a little bit of concealer, a little bit of highlighter, and like a little blush, like a cream blush. And I thought, well, why not try this? This would be like a cute blush. It actually looked pretty cute. <laughs> it, I think I went in with a little too much product because this is really pigmented, but it looked cute. So I think I will try doing that again, wearing this more as like a blush or... Who knows? I also want to try using it under my eyes a little bit, just because I'm curious. I'm curious, and I want to see what else I can use with this. Um, but yeah, so I'm actually proud of myself for actually reaching for it and using it this past month. And I'm going to do better at keeping track of, like, how far I've actually gotten with, like, the full stick. So there we have it. We have one product down, one product almost down, so three to go. Let me know down below if you guys are participating in the Petty Project Pan, how your panning is going. And as always, I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.